Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly bit of art from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back on those days at 10 a.m. for new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I'd like to talk about Anna England's work, Shared Identity Two. Anna England works with a variety of materials, but clay is her principal medium. Clay is valued by this artist for its sensitivity to touch, connection to the earth, to the past, and to past artists. Many of the first art objects were clay vessels. She served as a professor and later director of the ceramics program at Northern Kentucky University for over 30 years. Now retired from teaching, she makes her home in Felicity, Ohio. England has a love of nature and curiosity about the natural world, perhaps fostered by her father, a theoretical physicist. She incorporates natural materials, such as wood, stone, and wool, as well as clay into some works. Her subjects are frequently natural elements, like these beautifully glazed pieces depicting radiolaria, single-cell sea creatures commonly called plankton. Natural occurrences, not often depicted, such as electrical fields, become visible to us through her art. I see a lot of contrast in this artist's work. Big things like galaxies get compressed to fit on a wall. Little things like antennas get enlarged. She uses white on black, smooth against rough, and delicate with rugged, as in this work. So I find it interesting that shared identity too focuses on similarities. Themes in her work, like that of many artists, vary. An exhibit of her work here at the museum, where I first saw Shared Identity 2, was titled Kinship. Her thought with this piece, Shared Identity 2, was to show how we're related to natural forces. She does so cleverly. Five pairs of panels show a variety of circles, swirls, and spirals. The clay carvings on the right are actual fingerprints. Her thumbprint is at the top. The carvings on the left are from top to bottom, a wave, a galaxy, a hurricane, the growth rings of a tree, and a magnetic field. The similarities are striking. England's art appeals to me for many reasons. I admire her craft. She can make clay do some amazing things. Our work seems more like metal than clay to me. Not only uniquely beautiful, her work makes me think. Here are some things for you to think on. Do you think the title, Shared Identity, is a good one? Could you come up with another? What words other than kinship could you use to explain our relationship with nature? You can leave your comments below.